Hi, it's Trevlin. I want to have a chat with you this morning. There's a few of you out there who are complaining that you're not losing weight as fast as you should be losing weight. And I understand that. I know it can be frustrating if you've maybe been losing four pound a week, five pound a week, and all of a sudden you're only losing a pound a week. But, you know, it's like emptying the sink with a teaspoon. It'll take a long time. But if you keep doing it, even if it's only a pound a week, even if it was only a pound a month, you are losing weight. Now then, here's the thing. If you want to lose more weight, you've got either got to change your diet, maybe you're eating too many carbohydrates, or maybe you want to cut down on the meal. So that would be like using a bigger spoon and you get rid of more water with a bigger spoon. You could even do intermittent fasting or one meal a day and that would be using a bigger spoon. Or you could go on an extended fast and that would be like using a ladle to empty that sink of that water. So do you see where I'm coming from here? Every progress is progress, whether you're doing it slowly or doing it quickly. Now then, it could be if you're eating too much fat on your meal. I see people having some lovely, lovely meals, but they've got fat on it or they've made themselves a pizza. Now, I discovered that when I added fat to my meals, it stalled my weight loss. Up until I'd heard of the ketogenic diet, I never added any fat to my meals. I wasn't bothered about eating fat. And I started adding butter and cream to my coffee. Uh, anyway, you can find out more about that on my video that I made here, Demystifying the Ketogenic Diet. That will tell you what I came across and how it worked for me. But here, what we do here is called the low calofa diet, and it's the low carbohydrate, low fat diet. So back to the sink, empty it with a ladle. That means maybe extended fasting. Or if you've got a dripping tap, what you're doing maybe is eating fat, which is stalling your weight loss or having too many carbohydrates on your plate. That's why it's important to look at the meals that the members who are successful in losing weight, what foods are they eating? Find out what works for you. Perhaps you can have a piece of cheese and perhaps it won't affect your weight loss. But if you don't write it down and keep a journal, weigh yourself every day, keep one eye on your scales, one eye on your plate, write down in your journal what you're eating. Describe it exactly what you're eating. If you're having cheese, if you made yourself a pizza, if you made yourself um, one of these coffee bombs or whatever like that. And I'm not saying you can't do these things. I'm just saying don't expect a different result if you're doing the same thing. Remember, if it works, it can be wrong. If it doesn't work, it can be right. And we want you to discover what works for you. So thanks for watching this short video. I hope it's helped you in some way. And we're here to help you on the Keep Fat Club. And we meet every week on Zoom. We meet on a Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. And we meet on a Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. So look after yourself. Take care. Bye. So I've been keeping tough on mute because my dog's a bit loud today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right on, Yeah. Right then. Yeah, sure. No, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I thought I'd join. Hang on a minute. Hi, just hope that you enjoy these small videos that we put together for you. If you do, then don't forget to join us on the Warrington Low Carbohydrate Group on YouTube. Just ring the bell, just subscribe. And also, if you want to find out more about how we're fighting the war against losing weight and type 2 diabetes and other health issues, join us. Join us on the Keep Fat Club. So thanks a lot again for watching this video. Stay safe. Bye now.